Hi everyone, hi everyone, how are you all doing? This is Nessa Bless White. Um, in today's video, I am doing fry fish, which is called S. Kavich fried fish. So here I have 12 pieces of kingfish, and this is nine yellowtail, and I think one red snapper so is in there. And over here, I'm just going to add a little bit of onion, salt. I'm going to combine all my ingredients in one bowl. So a little black pepper, a little bit of onion, salt, a little bit of um, seasoning, fish seasoning. And I tried this one the other day and oh my God, it was so good. So I'm just going to combine them because we all know fishes is not like... These fishes are, uh, because I'm here in Canada, so the fish are not the same as um, when you're in the Caribbean. So, I like my fish to be tasty and taste like it's from the Caribbean. So, I make sure I clean them with lemon and vinegar. And I did soak them in a little bit yeah. of salt yeah. so they can yeah. have a taste to them. So, here I'm combining the... A little bit of the fish season I didn't really measured I'm just judging because you know it's a good amount of fish so I want it to go all over this is my onion salt my favorite which is the black pepper and guys we all know black pepper is the number one for fish seasoning and this is a little bit of the Maggie season up for fish so now I'm going to combine everything nicely together this is the yardy fish fry just a little bit not much okay that's it and as you can see so there you go, I'm combining everything together. If you only like black pepper and a little bit of salt, you're free to do so. I'm just trying out this seasoning, but I know for sure my hands are blessed. So I know for sure my fishes are going to be delicious. Yes, now I've combined all the seasoning together and now I am going to season my fish. I did make sure to wash my hands. I am in my personal kitchen and I do not have any gloves. Be sure to get it all over there. That one is a little that one was really big so I had to cut it in two. Guys, the seasoning smells so good on them. Have not eaten fish for a while now. A good couple of months. 
maybe six months or so four months so um I can't wait to dig in so here I'm now seasoning my kingfish This one is for my son. So today is the 6th of April. And I'm going to, which is today's on Monday. I am going to let put them back in the fridge and I'm not going to fry these until Wednesday or Thursday so you know for sure these are going to taste really delicious So there you go guys all seasoned oh my god this smells so good all seasoned and I'm gonna put them back in the fridge and now I'm gonna get my sweet pepper my onion my carrots and everything all cut up and prepared to do my escovitch fish yes guys see now I'm going to start frying my fish I just threw some um, garlic, piment, and some whole black pepper in my oil. And I'm also going to throw a hot pepper in there. I have kids that are going to eat it. Um, I don't want to make it too hot, but it's up to you how hot. You like your escovitch fry fish. So now I'm gonna put my fish in the pot. You already are big. I'm gonna put two of that one was really big. I have to cut it in two. Yeah, guys, you remember I have been soaking in the season from since Monday. So I'm gonna let these fry until they're golden brown before turning them. It says I'm not turning my fish out. Nice. The seasoning, it smells so. My God, I can't wait to do this. It's Wednesday, and I'm not gonna start eating my fish though until Friday. Add some more to the pot. 
Yes, yes, smells so good. So these are what you are going to need for your escovige fish. These are my seasoning and my vegetables. So I have red onion, white onion. I have a little pot there with um, pimento, allspice pimento, and my black pepper. For sure, you need your vinegar, and for sure the carrot and um, your thyme. Here I have red pepper, bell pepper. I have the green one, the orange one, and those are my hot pepper. I'm not sure I'm gonna use all because I have my daughter and for sure she have to be a part of whatever I'm doing. So I don't think I may use all or maybe just for the colors, I'll use a little piece of everyone. And then I have the garlic. So I did not cut them yet and started cleaning them or anything. So I'm going to do so and I will show you guys what they looks like after I'm finished cutting them. But please remember after taking them back up and put them in a basin, please remember to sanitize your area. Please remember to clean as you go. If you only want to use white onion, you're do so if you're only want to use the red onions you're fine to do so also if you feel as if you don't like the bell peppers and you don't want to use it you're also good to go but remember the carrots and the vinegar and a piece of thyme the preventer is good and that's it so here i just finished cutting up my carrot nice and wash I did two different shapes. You'll see when I all uh, put them on the plate. This is around about probably eight carrots. These are my red onions and my yellow onions. Sorry, red onion and my white onion. These are my garlic and my peppers. Did do some a little bigger than some because I want them to put in the hot oil. And these are my sweet peppers and my thyme. And guys, oh my God, this smells so good. That's my daughter. Sorry. So yes, guys, I'm starting my sauce. I'm now starting my sauce for the escovit fish. And I just leave a little bit of the oil that I use to fry the fish in the pot and I'm showing this is two cups of vinegar so this is another cup this is three cups of vinegar so it all depends on the amount of fishes you have because you want the fish to be able to soak up the sauce and I'm putting half of a lemon juice in there it's optional but i'm just putting half of a lemon juice in there i'm putting my garlic and some peppers i'm not gonna put a lot because of the kids and i want them to be able to enjoy it but I'll cut some and I'll put it on the top. So you want the flavor to come from the bottom to the top. Just a little bit of the pepper. As I said, it's kind of optional. The amount of heat you want. And I'm going to add. So these are my carrots. Nicely diced. I wanna put the carrot first because um you know they tend to take a longer time to cook. I'm not gonna cook them too soft. I want them to be able to a little chow 
And then, um, is that the right word? Crunch. Or I would say a little crunch. So I'm gonna let that come to a little boil before adding the other ingredients. Oh guys, I did not remember to um, add a liver. So this is less than half of a cup. Kinda help with the vinegar. And then I'm combining everything. I should have put it in with the, with the vinegar, but it's okay. It's gonna do the, the same thing. Kinda help with a little bit of the sting. Optional if you like it just like that. It's optional, you don't have to use any sugar. Yes, guys, after I let that cook for around 15 minutes, now I'm gonna add all my onions. I did my, uh, you can let your, yours cook. For around six to seven minutes, and I'm buying that. I'm gonna combine everything together nicely. Oh my God, it's a lot of onions. So I'm combining these nicely. And I'm now gonna throw my bell peppers and my thymes. So a lot of seasoning, guys. Well, you know, after these started to soften up a bit, it will be able to, um, to combine even more easier. So I'm gonna let this steam for about five to six minutes. I don't want the onions to cook too soft. And then I'm gonna add a, a little black pepper and a little salt and few little pimentos. So I'll come back and show you. Yes, guys, as you can see, yes guys, as you can see, I'm adding some whole black pepper. I'm adding a little brown black pepper. I'm adding a little um, pimento and I'm also going to add a little bit of salt Guys, you need to smell, to smell this. Oh my God, it's a little bit more black pepper. But I'm telling you, oh my God. This smell delicious. You. And look at all the colors. So now I'm gonna turn off the stove and decorate my fish. It's my daughter. Yes, mama, I'm coming. Yes, guys, now I'm going to put a little bit of the onions and stuff. 
the bottom of my file pan. So after I line the bottom with some of the onion, I know setting down my fishes. And then I'm gonna add a the sauce is on top. Is that my that's my two year old daughter? Yes, guys, this is the finished look. Oh my god, this is the finished look. So I'm about to pour the vinegar over this. Wow. Mommy. Mommy, I'm cool now. Yes, baby, I'm coming. Mommy, I'm cool down. Guys, I did a lot of sauce. And as you know, this is just vinegar oh my god i'm telling you this is going to be the, and i'm the today's what today's wednesday and i'm not gonna eat it until friday so can you imagine so wow so remember guys if you like this video please remember to leave a comment in the comment section Please remember to like, subscribe, and share to your friends. Oh my God, this looks so delicious. Look at the colors. Thank you guys, and please, please, please be safe. Please be safe. I pray for you all and your family. God bless.